wow, guys, how's the kitchen? Oh my god, I missed what? it! This is absolutely a dream come true. Like, this is insane. You donuts! I've given most of my adult life to food, and I've always wanted to be one of the best, and finally, I'm here. I'm gonna push myself as hard as I can. You ready to do this? Let's do this. I'm opening that door tomorrow. Woo! First off, do you get full reign? I'm running this shit. Good. Last time I ran the brigade, I was pretty loud, I was vocal. Kaya and Bren said I was almost mean. So what you count now? I'm gonna say four, Trent. Tell me a fucking real time. I four, need four minutes. Four hurt. It was just anger. It's all in the past. It was part of the competition. Hopefully, they don't have some kind of animosity towards me. My fish is trout and lobster tail. You're taking the trout, you're putting it in a hot pan, searing the skin side down. It's this thick. I'll say it again, as I've said many times. I don't think Trenton is a very good team leader. Bryn and I hate Trenton pretty much. While you're basting with the butter, you're putting a lemon on there to protect it. Right at the end when you finish it, you take the lemons off and you throw two more spoonfuls of butter on it. Goat cheese, yogurt, but it's piped on there. It should be stupid simple. I'm gonna cut the lobster tail, curl it on top, and then we're just gonna put the jalapeno aioli and a few cherry tomatoes around it. Probably a little bit of micro cilantro on there. Trenton has a more intense leadership style than I do. He's very, very particular. It's a lot of stuff. Fucking hell. What are the chances of going over who's doing what? We'll get there. So, Barada Barry, I feel f weird. Don't feel weird. Megan is a very humble leader. Am I doing good with this so far? Yeah, you're doing yeah, good. Are you sure? Yeah. 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 She is a little worried that we might, you know, think she's being too bossy or something. How are y'all feeling? Good. As a whole? Good. Do you feel confident? I love this yeah. team. Okay. It's gonna be good. If you know, I'm not gonna let you down, girl. A bunch of winners on this team. It's the Young Guns' last day in Hell's Kitchen, and both teams are up early to prepare for tonight's final dinner service. Everybody shut the fuck up. Let's get on the same page right now. You feel good? You're good so far? OK. We got to really work hard. Just dig in. How are we feeling, people? Everyone's still good? Yup. Kaya? What? So you're almost done with that? Yeah. So we really need to hurry up on that carrot puree. Yep. I understand that Trenton is an extremely strong chef. Put that in there. It needs to be thinned out. It needs sugar. But it just seems like there's such a lack of respect. It kind of makes you not want to do your best, I guess. Work your ass off right now. I really want to knock this out. Hi, chef. Oh, hi. Hi, chef. Are you ready to be called that? Yeah. I feel good. I think I have a really solid team, and I want my team to be comfortable and confident in what they're cooking. Maybe a little thicker? Thicker? I'm not trying that. to be a pain in the ass. Dude. It's fine. No, it's about you, whatever you want. I know each and every one of them can cook. I've seen them do it. So I'm just trying to make sure everyone's able to relax and chill a little bit before dinner service, you know? Steve, are you free? Yeah. Sorry, but do you want to help them? Sure. If you don't mind. I think Meg's very nice, which I'm not really used to seeing here in Hell's Kitchen. I feel like maybe we'll need a little more. She's like asking a lot as opposed to demanding. More? So if you don't mind baking I'll a little more. I'll make a second batch. I'll make a backup. So I'm hoping that she can cut off the bubbliness for a couple hours and just focus on the task at hand. I'm getting nervous because no, there's no sense of urgency. Nobody's talking. Everyone's uh, been like, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. But the, you you need to be more your, stern. Absolutely. Okay. And you got to stop asking them what they think. Because okay. if you leave it up to them, it's summertime. It's the last day of school for them. They can't win. It's just you. So yeah. if you don't motivate them to help you win, wh yeah. what other motivation do they have? Okay. So I would just suggest that you get out there, absolutely. get them on task, and be a chef tonight. Absolutely. OK? Get your team in order. OK, yes, well, come sir. on. Chef Christine's absolutely right. I'm in charge tonight, and that needs to show. Can I talk to you? Yes, yes, yes. OK. I'll come around, check everyone's stations, but get a little more organized before Chef gets over here. Yeah. It, it looks a little messy. Yes, Chef? Yes. OK. Great. It's three hours before the final dinner service. All right, uh, Megan, let's go. 
And yes, Chef Ramsay is about to do his last check on Trenton and Megan's menus to see if they live up to his high expectations. What's the message you are sending to your guests this evening? My message would just be elevated Texas food. It's a Good. lot of Texas That's flavors. It. So. That's it? That's all we want? Absolutely, Right, chef. take me from the uh, top. We have this burrata berry salad, truffle honey balsamic dressing over that. Delicious. I mean, really good indeed. Needs a touch of salt. Absolutely. Yeah, chef. maybe like a citrus salt. Absolutely. Yeah, take some uh, zest off limes and lemons, blitz it with some rock salt, and dry it out in the oven a little bit. Yes, which chef. needs a touch more seasoning. Next. This is a crab cake with a lobster asparagus salad. What this needs is a little bit more butter so it doesn't go so dry. Yes, chef. Next. This is a chipotle honey glazed chicken. Who's cooking the chicken? Uh, Josie, Chef. Oh, my lord. It's way, way, way overcooked. Yes, Chef. Way, way, way overcooked. Yes, Chef. That's nowhere near good enough. Yes, Chef. I respect everything Chef Ramsay tells me. He's trying to bring the best out of me and my food, so I'll take that any day. This is a seared ribeye with a little Texas caviar on top, Chef. When you expose meat like that, what's the one thing we do before we top with the garnish? Salt, Chef. Exactly that. Delicious. Thank you, Chef. So this is a citrus glazed salmon and a little fennel orange salad. So why would you crisp the skin beautifully and then you turn it upside down? Yes, Chef. When they start turning that over there like that, they've now got to negotiate this soggy, yeah, yes, chef. sort of rubbery mm -hmm. skin that's like, oh, we're well, just doing yourself an injustice. Absolutely, Chef. And if, I, if you want the flesh tied up, take the skin off. Yes, Chef. But then Absolutely. you've got no protection when you cook it. Absolutely, Chef. So, you know, that's your choice. OK, uh, we have some great flavors here. Yes, you know, chef. I love the tenaciousness of this menu. Really, really good. Thank you, Chef. Uh, good job. Thank you, Chef. Trenton, tell me, what's the clear message that you want to send to your guests? I grew up in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. I try to put that influence on there. It's honestly putting myself on a plate. Great. Let's go down to the appetizers, please. We have a compressed watermelon salad with a pistachio crumb. Mm -hmm. Why have we gone so small? If the melon is going to be that small, then put three bars there. So chef. it feels like a nice portion. That tastes delicious, by the way. Thanks, chef. But we've got more garnish than actually watermelon. Hey, chef. OK. Next. So we have a uh, English pea risotto with pan-roasted mushrooms. It's also delicious. Just be careful you don't over-puree it. When there's too much puree in the risotto, you actually can't see the rice. Chef. OK. Next. We have a pan-seared trout with shallot salad. Big hit with the judges last night, right? Hey, chef. I wish we had a piece for everybody here sitting here, because. <laughs> Man, this is, like, really good. Like, wow. You can't go down in size with an entree. It's way too small. Hey, chef. I thought we were ready to go. That kind of sucks. Chef Ramsay has a lot of good input towards Trenton's dishes. Smaller fried green tomato, and make sure the lobster's the hero. Whoever slices it, make sure it goes all the way through. Yep. We slice it for the customers, yeah? Hey, chef. Not looking like a dog chew. There's no seasoning. Tonight, you need to make sure you've got the best chicken breast in Vegas. Some of it is just nitpicking, but this is the finale. He's looking for perfection. You serve that tonight, that's going to fly back quicker than they left the fucking coop. Yeah. yeah. Listen, you've got to get, hey, look at me. You've got to sure. dig a little bit deeper. Elevate, elevate, elevate. Get a meeting and get it sorted. Good. I'm a little concerned that there's definitely a few things that need to be fixed. Okay. And we're going to do three bars on this uh, watermelon salad. So one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is a definite big change, but we're going to make it happen. The trout, we're going to do whole fillets instead of the cut. And we're going to tweak, tweak, tweak until we make a perfect fucking menu. Let's do this. A uh, few things need to be tightened up. Josie, can you do another chicken? A little too dry? Hard. I'm nervous, but I'm really happy with my menu. M? Yes. We need less garnish on this. Got it. At this point, I just got to get in the zone and do the absolute best I can. We need to get a move on. 